Hi, if your smart TV won't play certain video formats, what you'll need to do is you'll need to take those files into your computer and then convert them into MP4. So what you'll need for this is called Handbrake and Handbrake is supported on a Mac, Windows and Linux. So just go to Google and Google Handbrake, then click on the first link that shows up that is download Handbrake. Download the one that will work on your PC depending on the operating system that you're running. And once you install it, just open Handbrake. And you can convert your files on Handbrake. Let's say you have, let's say you have multiple files that you want to convert into MP4. What you'll need to do is you'll come here under files and you can click open source and then you can drag in a folder or you can just drag in one file. So we want to do a folder so we want to do a conversion for an entire folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here to scan through my computer so if i come into this folder all the all the video files which are inside here are in a vi and i want to convert them to mp4 because my samsung tv doesn't support a vi so i can just click on that and i will click to select the folder down there and this is going to bring in all the files is going to bring in all the files in here. And before I even do this, before I even convert them, let me just go here into tools and presets, into preferences, because we want to convert all the files at once. And we need to select our default location. So go into your preferences, output files, and then select where you want the files to be. This way, the files will automatically get renamed will get named and they will also get placed inside of the folder where you want them. So for me, let's say I want to put them inside of my videos and I'm going to create a new folder and I'll call it Handbrake New. And then inside of this folder, I'm going to create another folder for all the files. So just name them into something that you'll easily recognize. So I will select the folder and the file format. You can leave that as it is. And then you can choose the video format here. And I will choose, always use, always use MP4. And that's pretty much it here. So let's just go back and the next thing, of course, you need to choose the presets. So what presets do you want for your files? So it depends on your files, the original files. How were the original files? You can just choose the presets here. And let's say I go into devices. Here on the general, let's see what I can use here. I think the videos were for ATP. So I'll choose HQ, which is high quality for ATP. And I'm going to change the audio. I don't want the audio to be bad. So for the audio quality, I definitely want something higher. I want something higher than 160 kilobytes per second. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose 320, but it depends on what the original video had. So 320 is good, it's not going to, it's not going to make me lose the quality of my audio. So that's pretty much. Is there anything else here that we will need to change? So the format you already chose back there was MP4, but even MKV is playable on most smart TVs. So just with that, I can choose. If I come up here, I can choose to add all, add all the files to the queue. So you can see my queue here, all the files are added to the queue. Now they are ready to be converted and I can just click start queue. And this is going to take time depending on the size, depending on the video size. So just give it time and let it finish. Once you're done converting the video, you can play it to confirm that the quality is not too bad. If the quality is, is bad, you can just come back. You can delete the files and come back and change the settings. 
for the preset here. So just choose something that will work well for you. And for me, I think I chose here under general, I did choose high quality for ATP because that's the quality of the videos as they were. You can also choose super high quality, but you can only go as far as the video quality. So if the video quality is low, it's not going to matter what you choose here. It's only going to go as far as the quality of your videos. So that's pretty much it. Once the videos are converted, you'll be able to come into wherever you put the videos and then you'll play the videos. So I can already see that I made a mistake. I didn't select this folder. I didn't select this folder and you can see it's taking them somewhere else. So what I'll do, let me just, uh, let me just stop the queue. And if I go into my queue, I can just pause the queue and just delete all the items in the queue, delete the queue and I will need to browse here once again and let me go into the folder and this is the one that I want to use. So let me click on save because that's very important. And I'll just add them to the queue once again, add all to queue. And then I'll start the queue. And this time if we go to the folder, videos there, you can see the videos are now being added here. So just wait for it to finish and then you can try and you can try and play them on your TV. That's if you don't like to play them on your computer all the time. Okay, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.